Hi Gemini, this is the your card for the cards for the 2nd to the 8th of March and I hope you will enjoy this. I've got the Oracle of Visions and here you go and you've got number 28. It's a beautiful card, it looks like a joker. And somebody's reaching out to him from the mirror. We'll go get into that a little bit later. And then we've got the, that's the vision deck. And that is the cat, fantasy cat's oracle deck. I've made a review on that and also on the visionary. So I've got, I'm not using the season cards because there's four season cards and four attitude cards. There you go, it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And then we've got the um, cat cards. Okay. And we've got this card goes here. And we've got this card. And we've got this card. There we go. And Gemini, if you're new, welcome to the channel. Please subscribe just down there and hit the bell. Then you'll be notified when I go live. And welcome to my child, uh, my angel, cyber angels. You are my truthful followers. Thank you very much. I love you all and appreciate it that you come back. Now I go live every night unless something comes in between. And um, that's why it's wise to be subscribed and get notified. Then you're not waiting for nothing. And of course, I've got an other cards and those are the tarot cards. There is super chat available and super stickers. So if you want to jump the queue um, or if you uh, would like a specific question answered, then please use the super chats. That is a donation, and after donation, um, it has priority and will answer your question with three cards and an oracle card. And I'm shaking the cards and I'm really mixing them well. Sorry, they are very slippery. Sorry, Gemini, the camera broke off for some reason or rather. It's because also I'm editing at the same time, so I'll just stop editing. The first card is contact, reaching out, spirituality, because she's only in the mirror, I think. No, she's in a crystal bowl. You can see a woman is looking at him and the spirit is trying to reach him. So... He's a bit like a court jester. I love the artwork. That's by Hiro Manchetti. And you've got number 28, so that's 11. That's an angel number. So, contact, reaching out, spiritual bonds, connections. That's what I just said to you. So or you can have a, keep a look at it whilst I'm going into detail for you. Each contact with human being is so rare, so precious. One should pres preserve it. That's by Anais Nin. That's somebody that wrote that saying. In this life, we are spirit and we are flesh. When we forget that we are both, we can suffer unnecessarily. This card can indicate a need to take time for meditation and to connect with our higher self. This will turn, in turn allow us to see the spiritual aspect of others more clearly and be able to reach out to them more easily. A young man stands in 
a contemplative mood. The mask before him indicates that he has stepped away from his usual role in life. A flame beside the mask signifies the eternity of our nature and reminds us that all that we see is this earthly realm, is no more than a mask. In his right hand he holds a bell, a jar that con contains the face of a woman. The bell is the flask that, ah, I didn't know that. Maybe she is his spirit guide or a love from the past life. She's reaching out to him with much love and tenderness. In his left hand, he holds two buttons, indicating the duality of human nature. They might also indicate that he has more than enough will to move forward in his life. <clears throat> I was just thinking the duality of ourselves. Since he is a man, it could also be his feminine side trying to reach out to the masculine side. Do you see how you can see more things when you stare longer? And he's open to receive because he's bare chested. He's open to receive new love, his femininity, to take care and nurture things. He doesn't have to wear a mask. He doesn't need to hide. Beautiful card. Now, for the first um, cards, we have Monday. We have the Attitude card. Desiring Transformation. Desiring Transformation. And I have to put the cards here because I haven't got otherwise enough room. I hope you can still see the other cards. And the cat's card that you have is watching. And again, number 11, a doorway. So you might be watching and seeing and looking for a new beginning, a doorway to a new beginning, planning a new beginning. That's the Siamese cats. And look at the little elf right on top of her her neck she's got the pair of binoculars she's helping the cat to stare usually cats sit and wait and stare until they find their goal to jump it a mouse for example the mouse could represent which you don't see a new beginning because we've got two number 11s watching observe more information is needed quite right once you once you can see what you want and you've got more information you can pounce on it the situation is unfolding allow for time to let things develop employ feline alertness to watch and wait for the right moment is the ultimate goal worth your effort and focus is something bigger or better in store widen your view open the aperture and allow the unfolding to provide every option what questions still need to be asked what information is still required? Do some detective work on your own. Ask allies to gather information for you. This allows you to make your next move with grace and effortlessness and effectiveness. Do not let personal hunger, cravings and greed move you before the moment is right. Rewards are reaped for those with patience, stay with the program and stay with still with observing and when observing. Gifts are bestowed on those with perseverance. Cats are the active observers of any situation they are interested in. 
they are interested in. Become the active observer by allowing full embodiment of the moment. Emotions should slip away. Do not think or calculate, simply observe. Put desires on the back burner to become a neutral tracker. Then, big pictures comes into focus and all relevant details will be revealed. Oh, it's all of a sudden getting darker. It's quite creepy with the cat, with the cat uh, oracle. Okay, just put the light on. And like it said, stay still. You might feel that you are closing yourself off uh, up, but you are getting yourself ready. So when you're ready and you see what you want and you've done the research, then pounce on it. Open yourself up with your heart, your solar plex. Okay. And open yourself up so you are able to, to see and get the new ideas. Open your chakras. Cleanse. Protect them. Shut yourself. Learn to shut yourself off as well at the right moment. So don't let greed or necessity make you jump. Take time. Number four of pentacles, like the four of swords, the four of cups. It's usually the card of rest he's sitting. He's sitting around. So wait for the right moment. If you are spending too much money, then it's as a calling card to tighten up the purse strings, be more generous at the right time. <clears throat> Get your stability. Four is also stability, like the four of staves. Then we go to the attitude, desiring belonging. Yes, you want to belong to something, something good, something great. Then we have 14. What did I say? Have rest. Take rest out. Do meditation. And make sure that you have the right time when you pounce. Take your rest when necessary. So sleep or sit quietly and meditate. Let the new ideas come in. So let go and relax and release. If you do research, it is necessary to also sit down and evaluate your information. You might get news or meet a fire sign. Okay, this could be a Sagittarius, Aries or Leo. But you will get news and you have to act upon this news swiftly. You might also be moving home. Now. The attitude card for Friday is desiring balance. Desiring balance. And you've got grooming. Well, to get attention, get recognition, you have to groom yourself. You have to um, wash your hair, look your best. You've got number eight to get into your power because number eight is your powerhouse. You have to get into your power. You have to do that as well with rest to stay strong and rejuvenate for the next program. Look at that butterfly or um, ladybird. And in Holland, a ladybird means peace. No arguments, no fighting, no terrorism. It's against terrorism and aggressiveness. That's what we use the ladybird for in Europe. And you've got grooming. And grooming means getting yourself ready and to stand in your power. Pamper yourself, like I said, do your hair, go to the hairdresser. Treat yourself as gently as you would a child. The gentleness is depicted with the little cats. 
Johnson and the tarot card New Beginnings. Perhaps a second chance because you've got judgment. Archangel Gabriel is with you and blowing life into you. So he's blowing life into this family. A new beginning, a second chance. The last attitude card, Gemini, is desiring intimacy. Desiring intimacy. You want love. You want to belong to a group of friends or just one person. Wow, nice one. And then we have feeling. You want to feel good. You want to feel strong. You've got number two. You're going to get back in balance at the weekend. Okay. Open that heart, like I said. Open your heart. Where was that? Here. With the four of pentacles. Open your heart, but protect yourself all the same. Okay. Embrace vulnerability. Embrace vulnerability. You can show your, your sensitive side, your feminine side. It also shows that you are an empath. Okay. Embrace the vulnerability. Open yourself to every feeling associated with your situation. Embrace the entire emotional spectrum. The light, the dark, and every shade in between. Allow an open flow and know you are protected. Emotions can't hurt you. Even the scariest and the saddest, the darkest, defines the light. Darkness encourages the light. Shine brighter. Embrace dark and light. With equal openness, resistance breeds confusion. Repression is blockage. Journal for clarity. Walk for inspiration. Allow music to bring tears of melancholy in your life of joy. Forget the mind and focus on your own heartbeat without judgment. March to the beat of your own drum. Know you are protected in all areas. Emotions are a way of gorging life's rhythms and results. Feel emotions without reacting out of them. Those who respond out of emotion are not acting in authenticity. Do not linger in extreme emotional spaces. Our feline friends prefer to relax states of being and are happy to model this for us. Follow their lead. And the last card, Gemini, is the Hermit. You, like I said, meditate, meditate and evaluate. Sit quietly. You, this is the biggest red light, uh, red thread in this reading. Take time out to meditate and evaluate. Open your mind to new things. Like the hermit, he's a spiritual man. He's also wise and he meditates or sits quietly and evaluate. Throw away what is of no use to you. Focus on what you wish. Focus on what you wish and take your time. Take your time before you pounce. So relax. And you've got a card that is said is sleeping. And you've got a card here that is also taking rest. Get your balance. beautiful reading Gemini. I hope you've enjoyed this reading and I hope to see you in the life. So take care. Oh no, I forgot the charms. I'm doing also charm reading. I've got all the little um, uh, beads. That's it, the beads. This is the heart chakra. 
and we've also got the white uh, bead that represents the white light that shines through your chakras to clean you, to protect you. So here we go. I can't see. Right. Something has dropped on the ground. I'm sorry. I've, you've got two, so I'll put it back. And I've got to get one bead. Right. It's your heart. And I'll... Well, I'll just put it in here because that's where it stopped. Okay, now, awesome. We've got on the attitude card, desire balancing. Desire balancing. And that is the owl. You've got the owl. And the owl for me says, like the birds, because we've got a linen on deck and there's owls. Official news. Use your wisdom. Sit around. Don't focus what is in front of you because the owl's head can turn right round to the back and back again 360, 180 degrees. So look all around you. Be perched and look around you. Like the cat, focus what is happening. There is more things available. Use your wisdom and common sense. That is what I'm hearing. That is on balancing, desire balancing. And this is the first time the clock has come out. It is time to take care of yourself. And the time says um, seven o'clock. Rise and shine, rise and shine, rise and shine. Seven o'clock, you can see it. It's glistening. Seven o'clock, can you see it? The alarm has gone off. Perhaps it's a, um, a wake-up call. Perhaps this is a wake-up call for you. It is the right time, the right time. Time to groom yourself, to love yourself, to take care of yourself. Again, the key, the key, unlock the, those doors <clears throat> to your inner beauty. Close the doors on negativity. Let the love come in because you've got the angelic color uh, for the heart chakra and the heart chakra is officially uh, green in uh, Reiki because that's where I'm using the Reiki colors the basic colors and the heart open your heart so that you are able to receive what you need and what you wish for manifest it visualize it and let the angels and the um, universe, no, and you've got Archangel Shamuel, Archangel Shamuel. I hope you like the, this edition of the charm reading, and I hope you've liked the reading as, by itself, without the charms. So, connect with your inner self. You've got, or with your past lives, but I think it's connecting with your inner self. The woman, the feminine side of you, or if you're a woman, the masculine side, but also the nurturing side because you've got this grooming, love yourself. I think it is get connected with your higher self, with yourself, with your emotions, open up your heart, your solar plex, let love and beauty come in. You are in control you will be in control this is a wake up call this is a wake up call okay well there you go my sweeties remember together we stand strong together we stand strong so remember please give us the thumbs up and share with family and friends ciao ciao